Okay. So. And you know where the key is of this guy comes? Yeah, I already opened it. Familia, good? Good, very good. Yes. Good. This, this time is very bad for my family. Very good. Everybody. Good. Here and Cuba, everybody good. Good morning. Hey. Oh, what happened there? There we go. <clears throat> Come on. 
Okay. Hi. <clears throat> Let me get All right, we have a few more people joining us, so we're just going to wait till they log on. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll start right on time. How's everybody's week? Good?
Morning, Cynthia. Good morning. Seeing a couple more people. Let's just wait till 9.30. We'll give them one more minute to log in and then we'll get started. <clears throat> we got about, I think, three more people or two more people signing up. So. All right, guys, so we're going to get started. It's 930. They're late. We're not going to penalize you guys for that. Um, is the music okay? Can you guys still hear me or is it, do you want me to turn it off? Do you not even hear it? Okay, you hear it a tiny bit? All right, so, so what I'll do is I'll just turn it down because I think it's going to be more of a distraction than it is going to be helpful. So we'll just keep it down. Hi, Rebecca, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Good, all right. So what you'll need for today's class, um, if you have weights, I would highly recommend Keeping them close by, um, we'll do a set of some sets of arms with light weights. If you have a little bit heavier weights, we'll do a little bit of light stuff with the heavier weights. Um, also, if you have any other props that you want to use, like if we're ever if we're doing bridges and you want to use um, the ring or like the ball or anything in between your knees, feel free to do so. Um, I'm going to have the ball close by. It's not mandatory. You don't need to have it. Um, also, if you have like some kind of band or a ring or anything that you can use to help you stretch, I would say keep that close to you as well. Um, again, nothing is, props are just additional, right? So you don't need to use them. You can still get the same kind of workout without them. They make them a little bit more fun when you have uh, the props. All right, so we're going to get started and we're going to start standing up. Let's just get our bodies warmed up. We're going to start standing. We're going to stretch a little bit and then we'll get moving. All right, so we're going to bring our feet about hip width apart, maybe even a little bit slightly wider. And what I want you to do is turn the toes inwards. So just so that you can kind of get a little bit of a stretch on the outside of the leg as we forward fold. Okay, you're going to bring the arms up and overhead. Take a big deep inhale and then exhale forward fold, hinging at the hips. And then just kind of sway down here, stay down at the bottom for a little bit. All right, very slowly begin to roll all the way up.
And then out wide again. Inhale, exhale, begin. That internal rotation. This is in the outside of the. Kind of play. It's um, and if you'd like anything that you get a deeper. Hello. Not sure what. Hi. <laughs> She's gone. I think so. I thought it was me, but. No, I think she's gone. Okay. okay. <clears throat> I think I've got a delivery guy. Okay, hello. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> what happened there? Okay, was I just doing it on my own for like a while? <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> I looked up and everybody was gone. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. <laughs> Do we have to we mute, we mute ourselves? Yes, if you don't mind. Okay, I'll help you guys. Hold on. Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? Okay, I'll mute you guys. Okay, crazy, crazy. All right. Anyways, so we were probably on our like third forward fold or something like that. So from there, let's just go stay down at the bottom and we're going to walk our hands over towards the right. And we're gonna stay here for a second. Now you can grab your ankles if you'd like, or you can just go ahead and bring your hands to the floor. But what I want you to do is try to shoot that left hip away from your right side so that you're getting a nice deep stretch through the left side of the body. You're gonna take one big inhale here, and then exhale, come back into center. Let's walk the hands over towards the left. Again, big, deep inhaling and exhaling, shooting that right hip to away from that left side so that you're getting a nice stretch through the rib cage. And then you're gonna come back into center. We're gonna inhale and roll all the way up to standing. Roll those shoulders back one more time and then roll them forward. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and stand at the back of our mats. We're 
we're gonna bring the arms up. We're gonna take a forward fold and we're gonna walk out into a plank. So nice and slowly roll down. And then begin to walk your hands out into that plank without moving the hips, without swaying them side to side. You're cutting out again. Danny. Okay, so push away from the floor, draw the abs in, create like this little cobra hood with your upper back. Draw Danny. the abs in, glutes are engaged. I'm cutting out again. Ah. Yes. Yes, I'm here. I can hear You're like, you guys. You're frozen. You no. Oh my God. We can hear you, but you're frozen mm -hmm. in the plane. Can you guys hear me at all? No, everybody's frozen. Hi. <laughs> can you hear me? No, nobody can hear me. We can hear you. Yeah. We just, your camera's slow. Uh, I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, all right. It's like if your connection is yet like you have like a poor connection or. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Everybody, I asked everybody in the house to turn off their electronics, but it's still not like kicking in. Yeah. I'm not sure why what's happening right now, but um, is it really slow? Yeah, yeah. it's slow. You freeze. Yeah, you freeze for like a long time, so we can't see the next move. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do. Should we? We're like 10 minutes into class. We're supposed to be 10 minutes into class. Um, do try one more to... time because it's working now. You're blurry, but we can see you. Okay. So do you want me to keep, just keep going? Let's try one more time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Hi. How are you? Sorry. Technical issues. So. <laughs> <Same here>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to try once more. We were in that plank. All right. So let's try that. <laughs> So you're going to come into that plank position. And you're going to find that plank position, right? So we were here. Let's all be here. Or am I frozen again? I think I'm frozen again. <laughs> no, we're good. We're just slow. OK. So plank position. From here, we're going to take our right knee to our right elbow. Nope. Am I doing the plank all by myself? Okay. <laughs> right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. We're going to do this a couple more times, okay? Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. All right, from here, this is our recovery. We're gonna press up into a downward dog. So this is where we're gonna hang out and this is where we're gonna recover. We're gonna catch our breath. You're gonna take a big, deep inhale here. Big, deep exhale. 
All right, we're gonna float back into that plank position one more time, okay? All right, from here, you're gonna go ahead and lift the right leg back, and we're gonna hold. All right, so all we're doing is holding. We're gonna then begin to bring that right knee into our, to, towards our nose. So you're gonna round, bring the knee to nose, and then extend it back out, come into that plank. So knee to nose and plank. Knee to nose, and then we extend out into plank. Two more, knee to nose and plank. Last one, knee to nose and plank. Place that foot down, shoot the hips back, go into your downward dog. Remember, this is our recovery set here. So try to kind of get your breath to um, even out. Try to find a little bit of stillness here. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then we'll float right back into that plank one more time. So we're in that plank. We're going to lift the left leg up. You're going to hold for a second. Draw the abs in. Now, knee to nose, round the spine. Try to get that knee as close as you can to that nose. And then come back into that plank. Knee to nose. And plank. Knee to nose. Plank. We got two more. Knee to nose. Plank. Last one. Knee to nose. And plank. Place that foot down, shoot the hips back, go into your downward dog for your recovery. Take your deep breaths here. Two more. All right, from here we float into that plank one more time. All right, last time here, okay? From here, all I want you to do is bring that right hand to that left shoulder. Place it down, left hand, right shoulder. Place it down. And we're moving slow because I don't want you to rock from side to side. I want you to try to use your abs to keep yourself steady and centered. And you're just lifting the hands. Now, if this is too difficult for you, you can just hold that plank. That's totally fine. Keep flowing from right to left. We've got three more. Three. Two, and last one to each side. And then we're gonna drop down to our bellies and lie down on the ground. All right, so hopefully you got a little shoulder action there. What I want you to do is bring your hands behind you, clasp your hands, and kind of just stretch out your shoulders. So pull down towards your feet, Clasp your hands together and pull the hands down towards your feet. Take a little stretch here for the shoulders. We'll do a little chest stretch in a second. You're gonna bring your right arm out to the side. And what I want you to do is kind of just roll onto your right arm. So you're gonna lift that left leg and roll back onto that right arm to open up your chest. And then we're gonna come back into center. We're gonna do the same thing to the left side. So left arm extends out, roll back onto your left shoulder so that you're getting a nice stretch through that left chest. And then you're gonna come back into center. Okay, so we're not done with the abs just yet. You're gonna bring your forearm down to the ground we're gonna tuck our toes under, and we're gonna lift up into like a little plank, but down low on our forearms. Okay, from here, we're gonna tap the knees down, and we're gonna lift them back up. Tap the knees, and lift. Tap, and lift. Should be fairly easy for everyone. We're just tapping and lifting. We're gonna do eight, seven, Six, five, last four, three, two, last one, lift up, hold. All right, right hip taps down and then lift. Left hip taps down and lift. 
What I want you to do is almost like you're creating a Four, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower all the way down. Shake it out. Catch your breath. All right. Hopefully everybody's quad is starting to burn a little bit. We're going to do a couple more things, working the quads and the glutes, okay? So last one that we're going to do, you're going to bring your arms into goalpost arms, so out like this, okay? We're again going to lift up all the way, squeeze the glutes, okay? Perfect. So from here, you're going to bring the hands up, tap the hands together, and then you're going to open out and sink back down into goalpost arms. So tap the hands together, squeeze the glutes, and then lower down, sink down into goalpost arms. Lift and squeeze, and lower and open. So lift, squeeze, lower and open those arms. All right, let's do 10 here. Beautiful. You got eight more. Nice and slow, no need to rush. And six, last five, and four, last three, two, last one, hold it at the top, stay here. Okay, we're gonna do single arms, right, then left, right, then left. So I can stay this way so you can see what I'm doing. Right, then left, Right, then left. All right, arms should be burning a little bit here. So hopefully the quads are too. We're gonna do 10. 10, nine, nine. Let's go for eight and eight. And seven, six, six, five, five. Yeah, four more on each side. Four. Three, three, two, two. Last one on your side. One and one. Lower the arms down. Shake it out. You can sink down if you'd like into your heels. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and extend the legs out in front of us. Give our quads a little break. Sit down on your mat. Tip, pull out your cheeks so that your sit bones are down onto the mat. You can keep your weights close by because we will be using them. All right, I want you to flex the feet, bring the arms out in front of you, okay? We're gonna take a big deep inhale, roll forward, reaching past our toes or wherever we can get, as far as we can get forward. And then we're gonna stack the spine tall. We're gonna do three more just like that. So inhale and exhale, roll forward, reach, 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 and then come back up. Inhale and exhale, reach, and back up. Last one, inhale, exhale, reach, 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 and back up. Okay, so we're gonna to add to this. So now we're gonna to start to roll back. So keep the toes flexed, begin to tuck the tailbone under, roll all the way down. You're gonna bring the arms up and over, take a big deep inhale, and exhale, begin to roll all the way back up. Now when you get to the top, reach forward. So we're adding that little forward fold. Come back up, sit up tall. Begin to scoop the belly, lower down, all the way. Bring the arms up and over. Take a big deep inhale. And exhale, begin to roll back up, forward fold. All right, two more just like that. Scoop the belly, lower down. Arms come up and over. Inhale and exhale. Begin to roll all, all the way up. All right, last one. Up and over. Inhale, way back up, forward fold. Beautiful. And stack up tall. Okay, so from here, you're going to hold on, bend your right leg, and you're going to hold on to the back of your right leg. Elbows 
heels are going to be out wide. We're going to scoop the belly and lower down to you to a point where you feel like you have you have that C curve. You can create that C curve with your low back. Okay, we're going to bring that right leg into tabletop. Perfect. So from here, what I want you to do is go ahead and begin to walk the hands down the legs, lower down a couple more inches, and then you're going to walk them up the legs all the way up. Okay, you're going to walk down a couple more inches and then walk all the way up. Okay, so kind of like how we're do we do that climbing the tree, we're doing it here without the reformer. Lower down and then all the way up. Down and up. And I'm just going a couple inches past below my knees to get a little bit lower. Okay, go to down to the point where you feel like you're struggling really hard to hold it there and then come back up. And then walk it up. Two more. And up. Last one. We're going to walk it all the way up. We're going to go ahead and hold it here for a second. Pull that leg in. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Find that stretch in the back of the leg. All right, we're going to lower down halfway. Okay, bend that knee back up. You're going to remove the hands now from that leg. Perfect. Okay, so now. We're gonna lower down, extend that leg out. We're gonna come back up, pull that knee back into our chest. Now, if this is too hard, you can always use the back of the leg to pull yourself up, just like we did before, okay? So you're lowering down and lifting up, okay? Lower down and lift up. And lift up, lower down, and lift up, five more. Lower down, lift up, that's four. Lower down, and lift for three. Down, and up for two. Last one, down, and up for one. Stay up, give me that forward fold, release the low back. You can sway from side to side here. And then stack up nice and tall. All right, let's take it to the other side. So begin to scoop the belly, find that little C curve, bring that left knee into tabletop, hold it here, get a little lower. So go to that point where you feel like you're struggling really hard, and then you're gonna begin to walk up that leg. Pull that leg in towards you. Find the stretch in the back of the leg. And then lower back down. I would like you to try to get below the knee, right? So try to walk your hands down to the point where you feel like you're almost going to fall down onto the ground and then stop there. And then pull yourself up. Try to get that nice stretch in the back of the legs. Perfect. Do a couple more here. And last two here. Lowering down and lifting. Last one. All right, get down to that point. Bend the knee. Okay, release the hands. Hold here. Okay, from here, we're going to lower down, extend the leg out. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Okay, lower down and lift. Again, feel free to use the back of the legs to pull yourself up a little bit if you'd like. Lower down and I already got five, four, down. And up for three, down and up for two. Last one, up, hold here. All right, extend that leg out, forward fold. Give me that little rest in that forward fold position. Perfect, okay. 
So from here, we're gonna lower all the way down and we're gonna take that right leg up towards the ceiling. If you have your weights, go ahead and grab them. We're gonna bring the weights in our hands. That left leg is gonna be bent, right leg is up towards the ceiling, okay? So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna lower the legs, lower the weights, and then bring everything back up. So you're just lowering the leg, lowering the weights, and back up. We're keeping the left leg stable, it's down on the ground. I want you to make sure you find that neutral spine, and as you're lowering the legs down and the arms, you're not arching the back, you're keeping that belly button drawn in. Now, obviously, the heavier the weights, the more you're gonna feel this, but I have two pounds with me right now, and I feel like that's a good amount, because I don't wanna struggle. I don't wanna arch my back. I wanna have control over the weights. We're gonna do five more here. Last four. Last three. Two. All right, on the last one, we're gonna hold it at the top. Hold everything here. Okay, we're gonna curl head, neck, and shoulders up and try to tap those weights to our toes. You're curling up and down. Up and down. All right, let's do 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it up as high as you can. Little tiny pulses. Up, up, up. Try to get a couple more inches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lower all the way down. Place that foot down. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, lift that left leg up towards the ceiling. We're gonna bring the hands up towards the ceiling. All right, here we go. We lower the leg, we lower the arms, and back up. Lower the leg, lower the arm. So what happens when we work with like single legs or single arms, we're getting those, um, those abs to work those, uh, the side abs to work a little bit harder. So, versus just working everything together, you're having to use them to stabilize. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. All right, inhale and exhale, curl up and lower back down. Remember the goal is to try to get that height. So don't rush to come back down. I want you to reach and really try to reach for those toes. All right. Let's go. We got five more. Lift and lower for four, three, two, one. Let's hold. All right. Little tiny pulses up, up, up for eight, seven, six, four, three. All right. Hi, guys. I think I lost you guys again. Now we're back. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm not sure if you can or not. Hmm. All right. Are we back? 
No. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we're lying up in the tabletop. Perfect. Okay. So what I want you to do is go ahead and just either extend your arms out to the side or you can keep them down beside you. Um, I prefer them out to the side. Okay, you're gonna keep your knees in tabletop. We're gonna drop the knees over towards the right, but don't let them touch the ground. You're just gonna go as low as you can go without lifting that left shoulder up and then bringing it back into center and then drop them over towards the left. Don't let the shoulders lift up, that's the key. You're gonna go down as far as you can without letting the shoulder lift up and back in. So down to the left and back in. And just start to flow at your own pace. If I'm going a little too slow, you can always speed it up. But really find that control of the shoulders. Don't let the shoulders lift. So you should be feeling like a little bit of a stretch through the low back, but you should also be feeling that work. And back into center. And Nice and control, use your breath and center. All right, if we wanna make this a little harder, okay, we can, and this is how we're gonna do it. We're, we're gonna drop the knees over, we're gonna hold for a second, we're gonna extend the legs out, we're gonna bend the legs in and bring it back into center. So we drop, extend, Bend and back to center. So drop it over towards the right. Extend, bend, and back to center. And left. Extend, bend, and back to center. So right, extend, bend, and back to center. Watch those shoulders. Okay, it's okay to let the hips lift up. Just make sure. Okay, you're keeping the shoulders down. All right, we're going to do two more here. And one last one to each side. Back into center, drop it over, extend, and center. Perfect. Find back into center, hold it here. We're going to bring the hands behind the head. We're going to Curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Stay here. All right, from here, make sure that the chin is away from the chest. Keep those elbows nice and wide. We're going to extend the right leg out. Bring it back in. Then the left leg out and in. So right and left. No twisting just yet. We warmed up our spine with that little spinal twist with the abs, but we're not twisting just yet. Okay. You're staying centered. You're just trying to keep your chin off your chest. You're keeping your elbows nice and wide. You're not arching your back as you lower the legs down. And you're alternating. We're going to keep flowing. We're going to do five more here. Then we'll add that twist. All right. You got four and three and two. And last one. So each side. All right, let's add that twist. So right leg extend. You're gonna bring the left, right elbow to that left knee and then switch for that little bicycle. Now, can you do this without keeping that chin tucked in? Almost like you're trying to bring your armpit to your knee, not necessarily the elbow. You're trying to find a twist in the upper body. Right, we twisted using the low spine earlier. Now we're gonna twist using the upper spine. And each time you extend the leg out, think about reaching long. Like you're gonna try to touch the wall or the TV, something that's in the opposite side of the room. All right, let's do five more. Five, five, four, four, three, Three, two, two, and one, and one. Lower down, bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug.
Perfect. All right. Place the feet down. Let's work some booty. So we're going to go ahead and the feet are going to be close to the glutes. Um, arms are down by the side. Feet are hip width apart. Relax those shoulders. We're going to tuck the tailbone under, scoop the belly, lift up, find that bridge, hold here. Okay. Once you have that bridge, I want you to make sure your knees are not splaying out to the side. They're pointing out in the opposite direction. You're finding a nice stretch through the front side of the body. Okay. Once you're here, make sure the chin is not touching the chest. You're going to scoop the belly and lower all the way down. We're going to do two more. Lift up, hold, find that engagement in the glutes, find the opening in the front side of the body, chin off the chest, and we lower down. Last one, lift up, hold, stay here. Okay. Now from here, you're going to shift the weight to the left leg. You're going to bring the right leg up towards the ceiling. Perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and begin to point the toes and pulse up, pressing into the left heel, lifting the hips up a couple more inches for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold that height. Stay as high as you can. All right, lower that leg and lift the leg. Lower and lift. Keep that height through the left side of the body. You're at your highest point on the left. You're going to go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, bring that leg back up. All right, last little pulses. You got 10 more pulses. You can do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Place that foot down, lower all the way. Bring that left leg, cross it over the right, pull in towards your chest for that figure four stretch. And it looks like I'm frozen again, but maybe I'm not. All right. Once you've stretched out that left glute, we'll go ahead and place both. So it looks like we're back on, maybe with a couple people missing, I'm not sure. Okay. So if you're with me, you're going to lift the hips up. You're going to hold here. Think Sandy, you're the only one with me right now. Yes. Now lift that left leg up towards the ceiling. Ah. All right, left leg up towards the ceiling. We're going to go into those little tiny pulses. Oh, come on. Sandy, can you hear me? Okay, perfect. All right, so do those little last little pulses now. Last little pulse. You got 10. Hold it up high, as high as you can. Little tiny pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and lower all the way down. 
You're going to cross the right leg over the left. Take that nice little figure four stretch. You can kind of rock here from side to side. Perfect. All righty. So from here, let's go ahead and rotate onto our belly. And let's do a little work for our back, okay? So this will be the last set that we do, the last thing that we do before we stretch completely out, okay? So rotate it onto your belly. We're gonna go ahead and um, do a little bit of like a snow angel kind of thing, but facing down. All right, so what I want you to do is lift the leg, and lift the arms up. And then you can extend the arms out in front of you. And you're gonna open the arms down towards your hips, and then bring the arms back over towards your head like you're um, flying like Superman. So just creating like little snow angels or sand angels out and in. Out to the side and back in. Are we frozen? Are we good? I think we're frozen. 